Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 6, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 9, and Philippians chapter 4 verse 7. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Lord God for this word. Thank you for showing us the truth of you and how real you are, how one you are, and and how you keep us in Jesus name we pray amen all right you guys Ephesians chapter 4 verse 6 one God and father of all who is over all and through all and in all all right and so this is speaking just about the unity in the body of Christ of God right he is one God God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit they are one right there is no division in them it's all unity there and that's what we should be striving towards is making sure things are unified making sure everything in the faith has unity and that we are one with one another as brothers and sisters it says one God and father of all who is over all and through all and in all so mean he reigns over all of us right he he's over all all it says and through all and in all so everything that we are in our essence he is through us right he has created every part of us there is no part of us that he does not know or understand right it says who is over all and through all and in all so his spirit um is inside of us so we we can receive we can walk by faith we can know what to do all because God is inside of us so it says one God and father of all who is over all and through all and in all and that is God who is in us that was what I felt like the Holy Spirit was showing me was this is God in us all right and so A second scripture is Ephesians chapter two, verse nine, not a result of works so that no one may boast. All right. So we are saved not as our own results, right? Not as our own um, salvation or our own based on our works or anything like that, but it is by faith, right? It is by grace through faith. So the faith is is the key right grace is the free gift that he's giving given us um and and it is by faith that we walk out that belief right we believe god and he accounts it to us as righteousness not by our works right so that no one may boast so remember works are not the um, salvation is not the result of works but works are a evidence of salvation right so it says not as a result of works so that no one may boast and the thing that I felt like Holy Spirit was saying was God who saves us right God who saves us so the first one is God who is in us God who saves us is this one all right and then so um Philippians 4 verse 7 um it says is the third verse that he gave me and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus so his peace is going to guard us right it says and the peace of God which surpasses understanding so Christ's peace is we've talked about this actually earlier today um it's it's beyond our life circumstance right regardless of whether you're rich you're poor, um, what class you're in, your education level, how much you eat in a day, how much you don't eat in a day. Um, God's peace is beyond our mental 
um, understanding our, our physical state, right? So it, it's, it's outside of that. His peace is consistent. His peace is regardless of what we're going through. All right. It says, we'll guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. So when the world wants to come snatch away that peace, God is going to guard your mind. God is going to guard your heart and he's not going to let that peace just leave so easily. Right. So, we have to allow Holy Spirit into us um, and, and, and Christ, who is the Prince of Peace, will be able to abide there and show you um, how to stay in that place, that mindset um, through his Holy Spirit. And it says, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, it surpasses all. We could never wrap our mind around Christ as our peace, right? It is It is not something that is going to be mentally understood. You could be having the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst days, but somehow Christ comes in and just hugs on you and loves on you. Someone who recently lost someone that I know, um, she was just saying, oh, I just had to have myself a Jesus moment. And he just came in and fixed it. Right. Like he just and she was explaining like how this had happened in church. And she was basically saying, I don't know how it happened. Like one minute I was sitting there and the next minute there was someone who like an usher standing next to her. And she's like, um, usually ushers don't stand next to people unless they're having like a, a moment with God or, or had the Holy Spirit is on them. And so she said next moment she was coming to and the usher was standing next to her and she she there was trying to you know figure out well why are you standing next to me but she said after that she felt so good she just felt like such a peace and God had dealt with it and she was calling him I want to say she was calling him daddy God or papa God had done, dealt with it or whatever and I just thought that was just so beautiful it surpasses understanding you guys it surpasses understanding it says in the peace of God which surpasses passes all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus so he is going to do it he is faithful to do it you have to believe him you have to put your faith and your trust in him yield yourself to him and he is going to just open that peace up to you he's going to make it be beyond what you can understand amen so in this section holy spirit was showing me this is the god who maintains us right he maintains you he takes care of you he cares about your welfare he wants you to be taken care of and so let's read them all three together the first one is god who is in us let me go back to it one god uh, Ephesians 4 verse 6, one God and father of all who is over all and through all and in all. And that's God who is in us. And then um, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 9, not a result of works so that no one may boast. All right. And that's God who saves us. And then Philippians 4 verse 7 and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And that is a God who maintains us. He is in us. He saves us and he maintains us. He is God alone. There is no one beside him. Isn't he a beautiful God? Isn't he a wonderful God? Isn't his word so wonderful to counsel us and give us what we need when we need it? He is so wonderful. Make sure you let him know that, how beautiful he is and how wonderful he is. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for being in us, for dwelling in us and helping us to abide in you. Thank you, God, for saving us. No one could have saved us. No one was worthy to be able to do it, God, except for you, Christ Jesus. Thank you, God, for maintaining us. You are everything we need for maintenance. Lord God, you are everything we need to make it through each and every day. We love you. We give you glory, honor, and praise. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
All right, you guys, if there is anyone out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he is going to show you the way and he's going to bless your path. Amen. One of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down, read your word, chew on your word, and talk to him. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So begin to seek his face today while he may be found. Also, um, one of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to Oh, I, I said that already. Also, one of the things that Christ wants us to do was to um, make sure that we go out and find a church home, find other believers to be around so that we can stay sharp in the word of God, as well as go out and um, be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, also, Christ wants us to go out and tell other people about him and what he's done for you in your life. Amen. And we can do all those things by use of the Holy Spirit. He's going to lead us and guide us into finding that church home and those believers. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.